Everyone knows about a tuna melt, but nobody makes tuna melt like Zelda. Zelda's world, subscribe and make sure you give me a thumbs up. And the thumbs down people, we don't really like those people. But the thumbs up people, we like those people. Hi everyone, it's Zelda Mayelda. Z-E-L-D-A, Mayelda, like Mayelda. And this is Mayelda's Zelda's Kitchen. Hi everybody, clap for Zelda. And today we're gonna make one of Zelda's favorite snack foods. It's kind of the thing that Zelda loves to eat like on a Saturday in Zelda's nice clothes and robe. So we're gonna try it today. It's my tuna melt. Okay, so white bread. So this is a tuna melt. I like the tuna in the can. It reminds me of Margie. Margie was my first cat and Margie loved tuna out of the can. Me and Margie would sit there and eat the tuna together. It was a bonding experience for us. Okay, so this is gonna go inside. I'm thinking about Margie. Margie loves this tuna melt. Actually, the way this recipe came together was that Margie and I, you know, we would talk every now and again, and she thought that, you know, maybe, maybe Zelda should make some tuna melt and just go right in the bowl. Don't be like me all over the place. Okay, and so really this is dedicated to Margie in loving memory. Now, we're not using light mayo. You people that use the light mayo stuff, you're not my people. This is real mayo, right? We got the fat in there. We've got, oh, these are our tomatoes from the garden. That's right, from Zelda's garden. Now, we're not gonna use all that mayo because that mayo's gonna go uh, uh, on the bread and that's a little secret. I'm not supposed to tell you. Margie and I had a bond that we weren't supposed to tell the secret. Okay, a little bit of the mustard. This is yellow mustard. Goes right inside. And some of our pickle relish. Oh yeah, there that goes. And just give it a mix. I started this channel was because I used to own a catering company and uh, I would cook all these amazing things. I mean, I made the tuna melt, which was like by far one of my most popular. And so when I sold the business, you know, I just decided I still love to cook and talk to people. And so I think that this whole internet thing is very new to me, but I'm really liking it. You know, I get to take all these selfies. Wow, I remember when Zelda had no fans. Now Zelda's an internet sensation. I grew up here in New York and I grew up in a big family, 10 brothers and sisters. I was always sort of the different child, if you would. Later in life, all my siblings got married and had children, but I just decided that I was going to adopt my stuffed animals. This is actually Zelda's first and favorite audience with all due respect to you guys. Okay, this is Barney. This is Barry. Okay, this is, and I've got a whole little archive of them down in the basement. And so they're like my children. Margie, pull down your dress, honey. You have an audience here. Okay, Margie. She's a little bit disrespectful sometimes. She doesn't really have home training. Owl the graduate, you know, he inspires me to one day get a degree. You know, I've been doing the online thing for about 17 years. So we've actually gonna do some cheese on the bread. A few pieces. Yeah, just like that. And then we're gonna add our tuna. Isn't that cool? Just a little bit like that. You know, cut the tomato or something like that. So now we're gonna take our bread, right? With the little cheese on it. And we're gonna put that on top and we're gonna do it again. So now we have our pan here, right? Nice black skillet, black like Zelda. We're just gonna turn it up. Oh, careful, Zelda's hair is flammable. So mayonnaise is Zelda's secret to a nice crust. That's right, baby. Goodbye, butter. Hello, mayonnaise. Just smear it, smear it. You know, have fun with it. So now we're gonna go right in that pan Turn it on the side that you put the mayo, just like that. So you gotta save that extra mayo. That extra mayo goes right on top of the other side. You know what, who has time for this? I think it's better to use Zelda's hands because Zelda's hands actually can feel the bread. This is a way to really love your food and just get right in there. So this is gonna go for like 
I don't know, like five minutes on each side, and then we're gonna flip it, and it's gonna be nice and brown. You'll see, stay around, stick around. And I love playing this game, one that's on the floor, I do it. It's called the marble game. How many marbles do you think's on the floor? And whatever that number is, I try to count. And usually I'm right there, I'm spot on. All right, now it's time to do the flip. The flip, the flip, the flip. Zelda loves to flip. The flip, the flip, the flip. All right, here's we gotta flip. All right, here's, here we go. And we gotta flip. Look at that. Isn't that nice? That little golden brown color. Wow. It almost reminds me of that tanning cream that they give you at the salons. I've never been to a salon, so I just hear what they say. But maybe that's what it looks like. Oh, there's a little bit of black on that. But black don't crack, baby. Black is beautiful. And we're just gonna move them onto our grill. So now you just stack them and you just cut them just like that. Oh, look at that. And this is lunch, everyone. This is lunch. Thanks for watching. Zelda's Kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? And Zelda loves when all that melted cheese stuff happens. Now let's give it a taste, shall we? Wow, Zelda's really happy. And my God rest your soul. You know, if you were here, we'd be bonded over our tuna melt. Bye everybody, bye. I really hope that everyone watches these videos and falls in love with Zelda and Zelda's children. You know, Zelda just wants to do good in the world. Zelda wants to make people smile and make people feel good. And so that's what I do. And that's why you should subscribe to Zelda's channel, Zelda's World.